How's it going, everyone? The PlayStation Store is, in fact, running its Deal Mania sale, baby. Yes, it's a great sale, actually, with a lot of great deals, and I am here once again to highlight some of those great deals. We got a lot of deals under the price of $5, about 12 deals in total, so let's just get right into it and let's cover a lot of the great stuff discounted. Right off the top, we do have Metro Redux Collection. It is 85% off for $4.49. I've recommended this collection a billion times times but whenever it's this cheap it's always worth a mention metro redux is absolutely awesome metro 2033 and last light you are getting both games in this collection and it is a fantastic fantastic collection of two really really solid single player atmospheric first person narrative driven shooters i know that's a mouthful but uh they're very much i don't want to say one of a kind in that regard but there aren't a lot of narrative driven first person shooters that regularly come out in the market it's just a genre that you don't have a lot of developers invest a lot into. There's a couple games here and there, but Metro has kind of found uh, a place in the gaming market, and I think it's a fantastic series. The games aren't super lengthy. Uh, you can complete them in around eight to nine hours, but they are incredibly compelling from, again, an atmosphere standpoint. They are excellent. The world is great. The visuals are stunning. Even to this day, I mean, both games still look fairly good, and uh, for this price point of $4.49, uh, certainly worth a pickup. Would definitely Definitely uh, give it a recommendation at this price point. Next up, we got Castlevania Requiem Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood. Obviously, the Castlevania collections have been getting quite a little bit of attention recently with the release of the Dominus Collection, which... Um, you know, to go on a little bit of a tangent, I can't believe the Dominus Collection was released just as a stealth release with no promotional push whatsoever. Um, those are the three Castlevania games that, as far as I am concerned, like, growing up, stick out to me. Uh, having a Nintendo DS, Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, Order of Ecclesia, those games are tremendous, and maybe it's a little bit of nostalgia speaking for me, but I digress. That's still $25, and once that goes on sale, I mean, you guys know that I'm going to be drumming up, picking that collection up. But uh, circling back to Requiem, Symphony of the Night, and Rondo of Blood, a great collection. Symphony of the Night is considered one of the most iconic, really, video games of all time. I don't even have to say PS1 games, Castlevania games, just straight-up video games of all time. And Symphony of the Night, while it does show its age, as do both of these games, uh, it is a very, very well-made game. And Rondo of Blood initially never saw a release stateside until the Dracula X Chronicles, I believe it was, on the PlayStation Portable, and now you've got it uh, in this collection baked into a $3.99 gray pickup there. Definitely check that out if you're into your old-school Castlevania, you know, action titles there. Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, 75% off for $4.99. Really solid open-world action-adventure game that, uh, as an open-world game, I mean, it is a decade old at this point, which is, like, insane to think about. I know whenever I do these videos and we uh, talk about a game like a Shadow of Mordor and we bring up that it's a decade old, like, man, how fast has that decade flown by? Because I remember when Shadow of Mordor was coming out and to a lot of people, it was seen as uh, one of the very first, like, next generation games that got people excited. Now, they actually did uh, end up releasing this game on the PS3 and 360, but... You know, most people viewed it as a PS4 X1 title, but uh, I digress. 499 Ford is quite good. Game of the Year Edition includes a lot of bonus content. The game is pretty good. I'm not like a Lord of the Rings guy or anything like that, but it's an open world action title. I enjoyed Shadow of, uh, Shadow of Mordor quite a lot. 499, great pickup there. Next up, we got Lego Harry Potter Collection, 85% off for $299. This collection includes Lego Harry Potter's years 1 through 4 and years 5 through 7 in one entire collection. Um, now, obviously, if you've been keeping up with the news this collection is going to be upgraded on playstation 5 it will not however be a free upgrade however you will get a discount on that upgrade so i would imagine that the discount is gonna be more than three dollars so uh if you do ultimately want to play it on the ps5 it would probably pay dividends to pick up the ps4 version and then upgrade to the ps5 version for whatever it is ten dollars fifteen dollars i don't know how exactly how expensive the upgrade is going to be but the ps5 upgrade 
does look like good 4K 60 FPS, dual sense compatibility, all that good stuff. At least when I say dual sense compatibility, I mean the features actually getting utilized. Um, Lego Harry Potter, I mean, it's a Lego game. You know whether or not you're going to enjoy these titles at this point. And if you're a fan of Harry Potter, you'll probably have a good time for it. But $2.99, even if you have no interest in getting the PS5 upgrade, I mean, just as a standalone collection, three bucks for that is quite good. Next up, want to give a shout out to Dead Rising 2, 75% off for $4.99. A lot of attention around Dead Rising right now with the impending release of Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. I am incredibly excited for Deluxe Remaster. Um, it's more of a ground up remake rather than a remaster, but whatever. If they want to call it a remaster, it's a deluxe remaster, so figure that out. But uh, Dead Rising 2 was a worthwhile game to go through as well. Over the top, action heavy, zombie slaying fun. It is a little bit older at this point. It came out all the way back in 2010, and uh, you know, being 14 years old, it's gonna show its age, but sometimes these uh, zombie, uh, these like action heavy zombie slaying titles and these uh, games where you just slash and kill hundreds of enemies it's a good time even if it's a little older 4.99 i think is quite a good deal so uh check that out and again um dead rising deluxe remaster is coming out but at the same time that's gonna be at a more hefty price point so that's something to consider as well next up we have dot hack gu last recode it is down to 4.99 always go to bad for dot hack gu uh one of those jrpg franchise that i grew up with on the playstation 2 days uh so obviously gonna be a little bit biased towards this series and really just to me a great collection of games here where back in the day on the ps2 if you guys were living around that time and playing dot hack we got absolutely bamboozled for these games where they came out um you know and you could make the argument it should have been all in one game from the get-go but yeah they were gonna get their mileage out of it as they were released as like 40 i, I think they were 40 dollars standalone titles for each of the three outings and yes for the entire collection that uh you paid either 120 150 dollars i don't remember if it was 40 or 50 dollars at launch but nonetheless you're getting all three games you're getting a fourth smaller episode 4.99 quality of life improvements visual improvements so on and so forth a great collection of games that obviously these games are going to show their age and i was about to say show their age a little bit not a lot uh stiff animations janky voice acting at times although some of the voice acting is still really really good the main character haseo is voiced by yuri lowenthal and he did a great job with that and uh you know large roster of characters a lot of the characters don't have their entire stories fleshed out all that well and there are some pacing issues here and there but overall uh the narrative is incredibly compelling and i think for 4.99 this is a great deal also a lot of redundant environments in the game which is a little bit of a bummer but you know what can you do it's a ps2 era game 4.99 for this collection i still think it's a damn good deal next up we got valkyria chronicles remastered 4.99 for this as well valkyria chronicles i think is absolutely awesome awesome and i think it's a criminally underrated jrpg series we did get up to valkyria chronicles 4 i don't know if we're ever gonna get another valkyria chronicles game but hey valkyria chronicles remastered is a remastering of valkyria chronicles 1 which came out back in 2008 yes it's wild to think about that for sure but um yeah i played this back on the playstation 3 when it initially came out loved it back then and as a tactical title you know these games aren't usually up my alley but i really enjoyed valkyria chronicles the visuals are excellent and even 16 years later that watercolor art style that they had just looks so so uh good even all of these years later and the game can get fairly challenging but uh also fairly rewarding sometimes i feel like you know, some design choices were a little whack, but overall, narratively, uh, pretty great. And while the characters, I wouldn't say, are blow away, at the same time, uh, for a war story like this, I think it does help to have some more grounded characters, and I feel like the characters in Valkyria Chronicles, at least the ones at the helm of the story, uh, do kind of present that. So, 4 dollars for that, I think, is quite good. Strider, 80% off for $2.99. A throwback game while also modernizing Strider as a franchise. I wasn't a Strider guy growing up a little bit before my time, but I played this back when it came out. I think it was February of 2014, and I want to say that this was a PlayStation Plus Essential title right when it came out. Pretty confident it was, and uh, pretty sure that's how I played it. Um, had a good time with it. Can get a little bit challenging, but if you're a fan of side-scrolling action titles with the platforming elements, you'll have a good time with Strider, and for this price of $3, quite good there. Next up, Gris, 80% off for 339 this is a game i've been going back to a little bit more often recently it's an incredibly compelling game that i really feel like showcases games as an art form and back in the day i remember people saying that about 
Uh, I, I want to say that at one time I heard that about like Ratchet Tools of Destruction in 2007. And you gotta remember, I'm like, you know, 10, 11 years old at this point. I'm like, brother, what are we talking about? Ratchet Tools of Destruction being games as an art form. But Gris, on the other hand, uh, it really does showcase games as an art form because it's an emotionally gripping game and how it's interpreted, I feel like, and how it affects individuals, I feel like will really vary person to person, just incredibly uh, compelling in that regard. 80% uh, off for $339, I think is a great deal. And, um, you know, I would say give it a shout. I don't think it's going to be for everyone, but I do think the people it is going to resonate with, which I think is going to be a sizable amount of people, it will resonate with them a lot. It will be uh, one of their more memorable experiences. And I'd rather say experiences than even video games because I feel like Gris is more of that. It's uh, more moving in that regard. Next up, we got Greek Memories of Azure, 75% off for $4.99. Great art style in this game. Incredibly simplistic gameplay, but also incredibly charming. Game is a uh, uh, not super super lengthy of course but uh pretty fun all things considered i wouldn't spend 19.99 on it the standard price but 4.99 i definitely think is a good shout next up we got murdered soul suspect 90 percent off for a buck 99 i spent like 50 dollars on this game back in the day and it's certainly not worth 50 dollars but if you're a fan of suspenseful uh mystery uh mystery games you'll probably have a really good time with murdered soul suspect uh detective investigation style game not heavy on action gameplay or anything like like that atmosphere in the game is great visuals still hold up pretty nicely a buck 99 for that i think is quite good and lastly salt and sanctuary for a uh, dollar 79 i think is quite good challenging game here with 2d combat and uh not really my cup of tea as a game is concerned uh especially these days but for the audience that's into it if you want a more challenging action title with a darker ambiance salt and sanctuary will be right up your alley but that is gonna do it for me again a lot of great deals as part of deal mania under five dollars here links to everything as always in the description box below that's gonna do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.